Hi, you're welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's turn you up. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> so let's do Scorpio, my little Scorpios. It is going to be December 2nd through like the 15th. 2019. So let's see what's going on with my scorps. This is a message for you guys. Six of Cups, Page of Pence. So let's see. Let's see what's going down with my Scorpios. So now I'm gonna do this a little differently too. Your energy and then briefly external energy. Okay, so my Scorpios. Scorpio, Scorpio. Oh, that's way too many. <clears throat> Hangman. Oh my jeez, Louise. Holy shit. The army Jarkana. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. What are you guys going through? Okay. So we have the hangman, the chariot, the hierophant, and justice. This looks like some type of relationship. You are on hold or just kind of like... It's just the energy of someone putzing, and it's like you weren't having it. I feel like it's just it wasn't getting anywhere. And it's like even if you change your perspective, there's the six of cups and the five of cups was just there. It was like there just wasn't movement with something <laughs> or just not enough. It looks like you definitely took yourself out of a situation because this hierophant speaks of um, morals. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so I, I don't think it's asking you to change your perspective at all. I think <clears throat> there wasn't enough movement for you somewhere. And you're moving forward based on your integrity. Tell me about the hangman. I mean, something's in the divine's hands. I mean, it's clear as day. This is all major arcana. So we have the six of pence. <clears throat> Someone was giving, sorry, let me mute this. Somebody was giving um, time to two people. N nothing was balanced here. Because this one's hands are still out like, my turn. <clears throat> I knew I felt that. Like they're just something, and it's not about time. It wasn't about time. Maybe for some of you, but not what I'm picking up here. You know? Um, <clears throat> there was there was an opportunity for love. There was an opportunity somewhere to go on a new adventure. This could be saying, if someone changes their perspective, there could get some movement. Tell me about the chariot. I'm not really sure if I'm seeing it that way though. To me there was there was no motion that was giving not enough to not equal giving. There's a few flipped over. The star was flipped over and the page of swords was flipped over but hold on. The chariot <laughs> <sighs> 
four cups so there was some type of offer this is usually somebody like oh I missed an offer or a cancer offered or Pisces or Taurus or Libra um, but this is it, it was like an offer and we saw the the that one cup here being offered but it, I don't think it worked out I don't know why I'm feeling and reading such past tense energy with you because that's not what I should be doing so you're, you're definitely something going on with the past um because I'm meeting past tense energy I don't know what that's about why that's going down that way so this is you is the offer gonna come back around is it not should I have taken it should I have not or there's there's an offer coming towards you someone's at a distance so it was definitely a third party situation going on with you guys at a distance this talks about patience sometimes too but if you ask me this is legitimately there's distance between you and someone right now tell me about the hierophant somebody you know eight of swords reverse that's good coming out of that energy of feeling restricted tell me about the hierophant so we have the empress reversed there was a marriage. Someone's not putting effort into our marriage anymore. And now you got the King of Cups upright. Trying to figure out. Trying to do the right thing. Because it's next to justice. So on top of the Hierophant. I mean this is the Empress. So if you ask me this is a couple. Something's not going right. Because she's no longer putting energy into it. Tell me about justice. It looks like you're trying to resolve something. Or oh, the universe is. Yeah, see this is this is letting go. To me it looks like letting go of a marriage, a relationship. Tell me about the six of pentacles. See, someone wasn't telling you truly how they felt about you. But the ace of swords at the bottom of the deck, so somebody wants to. I don't know if they think it's too late. For some, not everyone. So it looks like a feminine stopped putting energy it's either a relationship or a marriage into something it looks like he's trying to release some type of marriage some type of long-term relationship tell me about the can of cups please can of cups yeah they don't want to juggle no more So it looks like there's a third party, or there was. It looks like it wasn't taken, though. You know what I mean? Like, the offer wasn't taken. Somebody took themselves out of a, a situation. So right now, it looks like there's an energy that wants out of a situation, whether they go back in a certain direction or not. They want out of a situation. They want to stop juggling. They could be dealing with a Taurus. Two Tauruses, actually. Let's look at this Empress. Whoa. Let's look at this Empress. I mean, this could be you guys, and you're the ones that put a halt to something. Could be you letting go. 
five of pence, right? So not not feeling stuck anymore, not not dwelling. <clears throat> Cause this could actually be <clears throat> let's see, where'd you go? Hold on. This could actually be you guys coming in this way. I don't think it is though. I think it's someone else. So someone's deciding, it looks like something's definitely ending here. And then this looks like another energy. <clears throat> Very underlying messages coming through. It's almost like, <clears throat> I don't think you're being blocked from anything, but there's something the universe doesn't quite want you to see yet. I don't know what that's forgetting. I think this is all hysteria energy to you. Scorpio, hold on. Surrender. Yeah, somebody most definitely needs to surrender. So that means you definitely have an energy. The ego is getting a little bit of a way in the way. So this one doesn't want to, there's pride here, you know, um, Someone needs to rest, okay? There's lesson after lesson, challenge after challenge, but there's still more lessons and challenges, okay? It's, it's not quite done yet, but you're real close. It's time. You need a calming environment. You need to replenish your energy, regain your exposure, your composure. Sorry, I said exposure, so I don't know what that's about. But this is basically a need to stabilize your energy. No matter how big the task, you can do it. You know what I mean? Mind, body, and soul, resting your mind. Regardless of what you're facing, Ganesha is gently reminding you to surrender this challenge. Okay? Um, it's time for you. And it's like you have the inner knowing too. Okay? There's a task coming and they need you to be ready. So right now they want you to rest. If you're trying to make a decision or change, okay, you really need to go within. Give yourself a much needed break. Okay? So, it's like not wanting to give up on something, which I feel, <sighs> I, the crazy thing is, I feel like this is exterior to you. I don't feel like you guys are the ones that need to surrender. You know, speaking from, I got a lot of scorp in my chat. I don't, there's nothing I needed to surrender. I see what I'm, like, I'm, that's the, try to, that's the example I'm trying to give you when it comes to, like, what's on the board. So, basically, I feel like this is someone you, unless you're dealing with another Scorpio. You know what I mean? Scorpio and Scorpio. That's the hard thing here. So, let me pull the other energy real quick. Because I'm picking up on somebody else's energy. I mean, yeah, it could be yours too, right? But like, it's very bizarre how I'm picking this up and trying to explain it. it, it, it this could also be the energy of like the ethers, like, because it, it's like <clears throat> these are all major kind of. <clears throat> So some of you, the energy is going to be opposite. Like this is your energy or the one energy I'm about to pull is yours. But there's definitely a situation where it looks like an, a relationship is ending. Possible third party. Somebody's at a distance. Somebody didn't take an offer. Someone wasn't really telling you how they felt about a situation. You could be dealing with a drinker. Um... I don't really feel it like that, though. And and this is not you. But she's the only woman here. But I feel like for my Scorpio women, you're one of these. 
You're either Pisces, Cancer, Taurus, or Libra. <clears throat> Somewhere in your chart, you know what I mean? And so this is, this is why it's hard because if you guys feel like you don't need to surrender, then you're the other energy. Because, for example, um, I, I, I hate putting myself in these situations, but I felt like the universe just asked me to so I could explain that to you. So if you feel like you don't, the person that needs to surrender is all this energy. So if you feel like you don't have to surrender, then you're the energy I'm about to read. And vice versa, okay? Oh, that exterior energy. So you got the five of wands and the three of swords reversed. So not dealing with drama, not letting your ego in the way, not feeling the hurt and the pain. I mean, there is still some hurt and some pain that you're feeling. There could have been competition, but you definitely took yourself out of it. You're definitely getting yourself out of the DACA energy. <clears throat> not talking to someone looks like they're not talking to this other energy not putting effort into it not dealing with anyone's bullshit drama nothing okay yeah see they're not letting somebody else's lies deceit deception false mask get the best of them this energy that's basically your only message for the other person that's cross-watching or however it works. You know what I mean? Um, this is usually when something comes back around. So I don't know if, if something's going to come back around, but the other person's energy is blatantly like not, not having it. It's almost like they're not even telling you if, like, they're out doing this, doing that. It, that's just it. You know what I mean? It's, they're not dealing with drama or competition or third party. No longer communicating, not dealing with no one's bullshits, deceit, sabotage. If somebody, because I feel like this would be somebody else's sabotage. They're like, I'm not having it. I'm not dealing with this bullshit. The, Lucy! Is something like that. And boom, they're off. Okay, they, they could be in the public eye for some, which is what the Six of Wands normally represents, but strong in this deck, right? So, public acknowledgement, that type of stuff. So, it's they're not letting somebody else's energy get, in, get the best of them. They know how to work on their own energy and they don't allow other people's energies to get the best of them. So that's a good thing. That's a great thing. But this is somebody moving forward and, and they feel good about it. It was like a small victory because at one point, it's not a huge victory, but it's a small one and they feel good about it because at one point they were dealing with drama, competition. They were heartbroken. They, You guys were going back and forth, but it's like being lied to or just knowing that somebody's not saying something or... Just knowing something's not right, you know what I mean? So this is a beautiful thing that you've overcome that power. So I hope that, guys, I hope that helped you guys. And if you're looking for, I am still doing reading, so if you're looking for a personal, there's a link below. There's different options. The The three options are all the same, okay? I'm just giving you guys um, an option money-wise, okay? But all three are the same exact readings for the 50, 60, 70. So... I love you guys. Have a fantastic day. Bye.